Welcome to East Coast Health Reviews today. We got another hard seltzer review. This is truly passion fruit hard seltzer. 5% alcohol by volume. It says uh, hard seltzer with natural flavors. I got the uh, Truly website, trulyhardseltzer.com. If you guys want to check them out. Um, this says the good stuff. Naturally sweet passion fruit with tropical notes of peach, coconut, pineapple, and mango. Um, serving says 12 ounce slim can, ABV 5%. Um, calories, 100, sugars, 1 gram, carbs, uh, 2 grams, it says gluten-free, and it says it's available in the Tropical Mix Pack, 12-pack slim can. So I'm guessing that you can't buy these in the, uh, six packs. So just in the Tropical Mix Pack. Um, but yeah, let's crack this open. Um, I got Ashley with me here, she's actually off camera, she's gonna try it, and maybe give, like, her own little input on it. Um, we actually just did the White Claw Mango one, and now we're going to do this one. There you go. Definitely looks a lot more carbonated than the last one. Very fizzy, clear, just like most seltzers. Looks like water. Um, this one actually has a lot more bubbles than the uh, the White Claw did. Um, let's go for the nose on this. This has a good aroma. I don't know if it's just because they said something, but... Definitely getting coconut. You getting coconut on the nose? So it's like a combination of passion fruit, coconut. I'm not really getting peach. Um, I'm not really getting the peach. Papaya. What about pineapple or mango? Maybe a, maybe a little bit of mango. You're getting pineapple? Yeah. I'm getting more coconut. I'm getting coconut, passion fruit. Smells pretty good. I like it. Doesn't smell too overpowering. Doesn't have any offensive aroma. I feel like this is so loud. Sorry about that. I just had to turn that down a little bit. I feel like it's a lot louder than me talking. But yeah, it actually has a really good aroma. Nothing that offensive. Um, let's go for the taste on this. You don't like it? Good amount of sweetness. Definitely not as sweet as the White Claw. Um, I'm getting coconut on the... I'm getting like coconut on the finish. Like kind of passion fruit up front. You don't like it? No. <laughs> I think it's not bad. It's okay. I don't like it as much as I like the White Claw. It's not as sweet as the White Claw. It is a little bit more carbonated. Um, would you agree with that? I'd say it's like high carbonation. More fizzy. Yeah, definitely more fizzy. Maybe a little bit of pineapple on the uh, palate. On the taste. For some reason, coconut is like stuck in my head. I'm like getting coconut. Like passion fruit, a little bit of pineapple, coconut. For a seltzer, it does have a lot more than most seltzers have, which is just one straight flavor. Yeah. It is a little different. It's a medley of flavors. Yeah, it's, it's various it's a, flavors. Yeah, here. it's a little different. The mouthfeel, like most seltzers, light. Sweetness, not as sweet as the White Claw, but that's as to be expected with one gram of sugar rather than the White Claw having two grams. Um, not overly sweet and when we're when we're saying we're picking up these flavors they're very dull you know they're very faint they're not gonna jump out at you you honestly have to sit there and examine this to actually kind of pick up those flavors 
But for the most part, people aren't going to do that with these. They're just going to drink them. They're just going to slam them back because it's pretty much like water with like hints of fruit flavors. So like I said, mouthfeel, like carbonation is definitely high with this one. It has like sort of a prickly carbonation, fizzy, as Ashley said, which is pretty accurate. Um, price, I believe truly is going to cost you... I think a little bit cheaper. Um, I think they're like eight dollars for a six pack. I could be wrong. And then like around like fifteen, sixteen for the twelve pack. So they're a little bit cheaper than White Claws um, in the area that I buy them. In the, in the store that I buy them, they're usually a little bit cheaper. Um, like I said, if you if if maybe you drank like the White Claws and those uh, two grams of sugars were a little too sweet for you, um, and maybe you had like a problem of Maybe you kind of got a headache the next day. Truly is probably what you're going to want to go for. Um, completely crushable. Uh, no offensive flavor with, with this one. I mean, in my opinion, I don't think there's any offensive flavor. Ashley looked like she didn't like it. No, I'm not a fan. No? <laughs> no. I you just feel like it has an aftertaste. That's a not weird good. aftertaste? Yeah, it's not pleasant. Okay, so some people don't like it. Um... I'm guessing it's not one of the more popular flavors, considering they don't sell them as six packs. You know what I mean? It's only in the the variety pack. Oh, I see. The tropical mix pack, so that kind of makes sense. That does make sense. Um, but it's not bad. Like I said, I'm getting a lot of coconut for something that says passion fruit. I'm getting a lot of coconut. Um, but as I said before, it's it's a very dull flavor. Um, so for a rating, I'm gonna give this one a. I'm going to give this one a 7. Um, with that being said, it's not overly sweet. Um, there's nothing mind-blowing about it. But you do pick up some other flavor other than... Uh, other fruit flavors other than what they say is the, the the straight flavor that's on the can, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you actually do pick up some other stuff. And... Uh, <laughs> price isn't too bad. Like I said, they should be... Pr uh, cheaper than white claws and the availability is going to be good because anywhere you go that sells seltzers is going to have truly you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i think seven out of ten is a fair rating what do you want to give this one because i know you're not going to have a good rating for this i'll give it like a four so you think it's below average because it has that aftertaste yes i do think it's below average okay so you're going to give it a four yeah it's not terrible but it's okay that's your opinion yeah. um like i said um I don't really get a bad aftertaste. Maybe that's that coconut. Maybe maybe her palate just kind of picks it up as kind of an odd flavor. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna recommend it. I'm gonna recommend trying that that tropical mix pack variety pack. Um, I think it comes with the watermelon, kiwi, the mango, and the pineapple. So I've actually had the mango and the pineapple, and those are definitely worth it in my opinion. This one might be one of those. Where it's like you drink the mango and the pineapple, and you're already kind of buzzed. Yeah. So you're like, oh, whatever, I'm just going to keep drinking them. You know, this is one you can kind of just guzzle down. You probably won't even taste it. You know what I mean? Right. That's probably what they're expecting. Yeah. People are going to drink the mango and pineapple, the really good ones. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to move on to the watermelon and kiwi and the, and the passion fruit. The watermelon and kiwi was okay. Mm -hmm. I think... I forgot what I gave for a rating watermelon and kiwi. I think I like this one a little bit more than the watermelon and kiwi. Um, are you going to recommend the variety pack? I would recommend the variety pack, but I would not recommend Recommend this fruit. one? No. <laughs> you know, like I said, I don't even, they don't even have it as a six pack, so that's probably why. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to say? No, I think that's it. Okay. And, uh, yeah, there you have it. Is there any other hard seltzers? Whether it's a truly white claw... Any of the other seltzers that you guys want to see me do a review on, or any other liquor or beer, um, definitely leave, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for upcoming videos. Liquor beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.